A major victory for pro-life Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville over the past several months. The lawmaker has been holding up more than 300 Defense Department nominations protesting the Pentagon's taxpayer-funded abortion travel policy. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales joins us now with the latest developments. Eric. Well, good evening, Tracy. You know, Senator Tommy Tuberville has now forced Democratic leadership to act on DOD nominations one by one. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer caved into the holdout and decided to hold votes, starting with the chairman of the new Joint Chiefs of Staff. The Democratic leadership blamed Senator Tuberville for the impasse, calling the move, quote, extraordinary circumstances. It seems that Senator Tuberville is becoming more and more desperate to get out of the box he has put himself in. He's desperate to shift the responsibility on to others. But Senator Tuberville and other Republicans say that's nonsense. Chuck Schumer allowing the backlog to build up over six months is his fault. We could have been confirming one or two a week for the last 200 days. It would have taken us just four hours of voting each week. But we didn't do it. Senator Schumer has had this opportunity for months now. He is the one that has been holding hostage the military men and women that serve this country. So why the heck didn't he do it sooner? Republicans have long argued that the Defense Department went around Congress to change their abortion policy after the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe. Let this be a message to Secretary Austin. If you want to make the laws, run for Congress, but you can't legislate from the E-ring at the Pentagon. As for hurting readiness, former Principal Deputy Undersecretary of Defense and retired Air Force pilot Dave Patterson tells me not a chance. How is the operational tempo and frequency of joint and combined exercises, for example? And as far as I know, no exercises have been canceled, you know, or reduced in size for lack of uh, senior Senate confirmed leadership. In fact, in the most contentious Indo-Pacific region right now, exercises have increased. Senator Tuberville says he's standing strong. The hold will remain in place as long as the Pentagon's illegal abortion policy remains in place. If the Pentagon lifts the policy, then I will lift my hold. It's easy as that. Hundreds of other promotions remain in limbo, but Senator Tuberville tells me he's not going to budge because the Defense Department is the one breaking the law. Meanwhile, we have some other big news uh, coming from the other side of the chambers, the U.S. House. Republicans again failed to advance a spending bill. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has sent members home for at least today, leaving in limbo a planned Saturday vote on a continuing resolution. Again, the government does plan to shut down on October 1st. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.